And our third main topic today gets submitted to us by Hayden Lee, who writes, I've been watching your show every day since the AMC days. Thank you so much, Hayden. I appreciate that. Well, it's now official. Ip Man will now join the John Wick universe. But seriously, I'm very excited about the news that Donnie Yen joining John Wick 4, hopefully as an ally. How big of a role do you think Donnie is going to have since they are late into pre-production? Can't wait to see some serious ass-kicking and bring on the filthy. All right, man, thanks for sending this in. And guys, there are certain... I mean, there's a lot of news that's interesting and fascinating, but every once in a while, whether it's Henry Cavill being the new lead in Highlander or whether it's, you know, news of a new Batman trailer dropping or so every once in a while, a piece of news comes out that overrides your adult mental faculties and just makes you want to go. Donnie Yen and John Wick four is one of those pieces of news. Damn right. Donnie Yen in John Wick four. Are you kidding me? This is delicious this is absolutely delicious i love this you know i i can't think i mean honestly this might be the most perfect addition to a john wick four i mean i've heard I, i've heard some people say you know a jackie chan in a john wick would be really badass maybe but but jackie the great jackie chan i mean he's got so much of a comedy uh, thing to him that maybe it wouldn't work quite as well. I mean, I, I don't know. Putting Donnie Yen in there is nothing short to me than brilliant. This comes to us from the folks over at Deadline who write, Donnie Yen has been set by director Chad Stolisky to star with Keanu Reeves in John Wick 4 for Lionsgate. Yen will play. So getting back to your question you're asking, I hope he's an ally. Well, Deadline answers that question. Yen will play an old friend of Reeves' super assassin John Wick, who shares his same history and many of the same enemies that comes to us from deadline. And ladies and gentlemen, I am one with the force and the forces with me. Donnie Yen is going to be in John forward. Listen, one of the difficult things about franchises and as you progress and move forward with franchises is there, there is this perceived, and we've talked about this before. There is this perceived law of diminishing returns. That somehow, some way, in the next movie, it has to be bigger and the stakes have to be larger. Great. Well, then if you do another one after that, now the stakes have to be even bigger and the set piece is even larger and it has to be even more bombastic. Okay, great. Now you're going to do another one. Now you just got to keep going with this huge escalation sort of thing. But I will say this. Adding a Donnie Yen to a John Wick 4, regardless of what happens in the movie... Donnie Yen just being in this movie is an escalation, right? And there's not a lot of times you can say that just for a casting. But if you're talking about franchises that, you know, law diminishing returns, you got to escalate and you got to escalate and you got to escalate. All that escalation happens in the movie. I propose that just the addition of a Donnie Yen to a franchise like John Wick, I'm not saying adding Donnie Yen to just any movie is an automatic escalation. I'm not saying that, but adding it to me, adding a Donnie Yen to a movie like a John Wick four to me is in and of itself an escalation. It raises the bar just with his presence in the movie. Now, again, he may only be in this movie for, 10 or 15 minutes, maybe five minutes for all we know. We don't know. Maybe he's going to be the co-lead of this. Maybe he'll be in a full 45 minutes of this movie. Maybe he'll be in more of this movie than Keanu Reeves will, or maybe he'll just pop up in one quick scene, say hello, punch somebody in the face and leave. I mean, I don't know. So obviously the size of the impact of Donnie Yen being in John Wick 4 will be in direct relation to how much actual screen time does he get. But let's go on the assumption for a moment, just for the sake of argument, that he's going to be in the movie for 10 to 20 minutes. Good enough for me. If he's in more, fantastic. But if you get Donnie Yen for 10 to 20 minutes, that means he's probably going to be in a good four, five, or six scenes. A lot of opportunity there for him to do his Donnie Yen magic. Sign me up. Sign me up. I love it. I love it. This is one of those pieces of news, guys. It just... 
you know, the blood, the heart starts pumping, the blood starts flowing, and you just get excited. I'm very excited about this. I think this is fantastic. I cannot wait uh, to see what they're going to do uh, with this. I cannot wait to see him in this movie. I cannot, I'm, I'm just very excited. I don't know if you can tell. I'm just very excited. Question is for you guys. What do you think about the addition of Donnie Yen to this? Maybe you're not all that thrilled with it. Maybe you're like, yeah, Donnie Yen's great, but I mean, we don't know if he's going to be any good in this movie. And you're right. You are 100% right. But me personally, I'm very excited about it. How are you guys feeling? Jump on down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. All right, guys. 